story is about Sarah, a 24-year-old girl. Her life wasn't much different from the lives of millions of other Americans. Sarah was interned as a journalist, but there's nothing special about it because many girls at her age choose to work in this field. In general, her whole life was quite calm and measured, but one day changed everything. You were right, Ethan, it's cheap and tasty enough. Now you know that a good meal isn't always expensive. Major Payne gave only five minutes to eat, and I think Private Jonathan hid my shoes again. Understand that according to MLB rules the home team always starts the match in defense, which means that in every innings they will have the last opportunity to change the score in the game. Hey, inning, the end of the eighth inning, it was in some game, I do not remember what its name is. Why did you bring me to this cafe? You know I'm on a diet. Sir, you can't be surprised. You're always not satisfied. This iced coffee is terrible. In Dunkin' Donuts it is much better. Sam, look how sick Josh is. It's your fault, you brought us here. It's not my fault he's not feeling well. I eat at this cafe every day, and I've never had anything like it. So, when will Jim be here? We've been sitting here for half an hour. I don't know, Abby. We're gonna wait 10 minutes and go. It's his fault. The boys got super white widow's cheese. We're gonna get together and have some relax. Amanda, I think Kate is upset about something. We need to support her. Let's get our girls together and have a bachelorette party. I agree, and we should cheer ourselves up. How long do I have to wait? Bring me my fries already. Welcome to Yumco. Are you ready to order? Yeah, I forgot to tell you, Sarah has a devoted friend, Sammy. Sammy lives with Sarah for nine years and never left her. Even now he's waiting for her at the coffee shop where she drinks coffee every day. God, it's so hot, I'm all wet. I want to get to the pool and Martin is faster. I told you to take Marlboro Light, not your stinking Ico sticks. 
Icos and vape are better than your cigarettes. Are you done? Now we're going to the park for the attractions. Yeah, I'm the first one to ride. Why do you always go first? I don't understand how people can ride this subway. It's full of pickpockets and it smells bad. Damn machine, it's not working. You wouldn't have a couple of cents, would you? Once they entered the subway and got on the train, they were home in 20 minutes. <laughs> Distracted from writing the article, Sarah has observed Sammy, who was sitting next to her for 10 minutes, and saying that he was hungry. Well, okay. After feeding her devoted friend, it's time to get back to the laptop and continue the work. Suddenly, Sarah's dream was interrupted by a loud knock. Strongly afraid, she tried to catch her breath and fall asleep again, and to completely calm down, she petted Sammy, and he licked her hand. After a couple of hours, the window that seemed to be tightly closed, opened bursty and closed with a powerful blow. It scared Sarah so much that she almost cried out of fear, but Sammy licked her hand again, letting her know that he was near, and that everything was alright. Through an already shallow dream, Sarah heard the sound of falling drops. She was wary and thought she hadn't closed the tap, but she was very tired and scared enough to go and check, so she fell asleep again. Thirty minutes later Sarah woke up again because of the sound of the drops, and thought she couldn't work if she didn't sleep, and found the strength to get up and close the faucet. When she got out of bed, she felt the familiar touch of the tongue. Taking the phone, Sarah went to look for the noise source. You have read me tasty fingers.